What is happening my lions? Welcome, Tom here. Today the goal is very simple. We're gonna compare Helium 10 with Jungle Scout's Chrome extension. Now the two Chrome extensions are vastly similar but yet there are so many differences and I think you guys need to know. And at the end of the day, we're gonna figure out which one is the right tool for you and why. So that's the purpose of today and if you are really confused about which tool to go with, this video for you guys all right so let's get right into it all right guys welcome back now let's get started so again we're gonna take a look at the two chrome extensions by jungle scout and helium 10 and we're gonna figure out which one is the best and why so in order to do so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys the two tools and what you can see with each one and why one is better than the other okay so uh, to do this, so basically you have to be able to install it to your Chrome extension. It's a Chrome extension, which means it works with your Chrome browser. And then right here, you'll see that I have Jungle Scout and I have Helium 10 Chrome extensions, both of them downloaded. All right. So what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to go to Amazon and we're going to do a search. So let's say I was just searching for dolls or what have you, but let's say we're going to search for um, laptop bags. Okay. All right, so once you start your search, uh, let the page load. So this is basically your page one, your top items are here, uh, your Amazon bestsellers are here and all that, right? So we're gonna hit the Jungle Scout Chrome extension button right here on top to load it against page one. And let's take a look at what that looks like. Give it a few seconds. Okay, here it is guys. So what you see on this page are basically items that are on page one and you see some good background information with some averages to help you determine whether this market is for you, okay? So with this one, you will see that the product name, what it is, right? It pops up a picture of it. The brand, so who is the brand or the um, uh, Amazon seller behind it or the company that they have incorporated? What price each product is selling for? That's per unit. Okay, the monthly sales volume, how many units they're selling per month? Now, with Jungle Scout Chrome extension, sometimes it is hard to get the data that you want now. Um, so it does not load everything sometimes. So that's one of the glitches that it has. But then again, you get some good information. What's the monthly revenue? So this seller is making about 21,832. That's their sales, which means that a 50% is their profit on a regular basis to 40 to 50% of that is their profit. This seller has 1,844 reviews, right? So, and then it's a five-star rating and that's the ranking of the product. Now, um, if you look at this, there the reviews are really high for this category, which means that it is probably not a good category for you to get into because everybody has massive reviews in order to end up on page one. Like the lowest one you see is about 130 reviews, right? So you can do this against page two, three, and four as well to see what those look like. But normally page one really determines whether you're gonna um, whether you're gonna sell that product or not because you wanna end up on page one. And if you're gonna end up on page one, you wanna see who your competitors are. So that's what this is. Now, the average monthly sales, so people are selling about 1,331 units a month. That's the average of overall. And um, average price is about $32. So it tells you like how much you should price your item for and slightly lower if you want to beat the competition. But there are some $25 ones as well. So you got to keep that in mind. And average reviews is people are having like 1,000 reviews or over almost 1,100 reviews for their products in order to make the sales that they are. Okay? So this is Jungle Scouts. Now, okay, now what we want to do is we want to run uh helium 10 against the same product or we can do a different product just to keep it a little bit interesting so let's do um let's do toys or something like that okay so let's change the category so let's say toys let's see what comes up um i like to keep my searches as broad as possible so that i can find what the best selling products are that's one of my product uh, research techniques that i've told you guys about keep it as broad as possible now, okay, so this is what we have for toys and these are some of the best selling toys out there. Okay, so let's take a look at Helium 10's Chrome extension, what this looks like. So just clicking on the button, you will see that there you have a few tools available. Okay, 
X-Ray Amazon product research is basically very similar to uh, to the uh, Jungle Scout Chrome extension that I just showed you guys. Now the training is also available right off the bat and ASIN grabber. So you can grab the ASIN number of your competitor's product. So now what I'm interested in is in the X-Ray. So I'm gonna click on the X-Ray and I wanna load up the information on the, uh, on the items that I actually have searched right here. So as you can see, it's very similar to Jungle Scout, but slightly better laid out, and I like the colors a bit better too. Uh, now, you guys are probably already thinking that, okay, he's kind of leaning towards one. And uh, absolutely, Helium 10, I think, is a more, uh, what do you call, superior product when it comes to product research on Amazon. And Jungle Scout is one of the older ones, so what happened was Helium 10, when they came out, they actually learned from the mistakes of Jungle Scout and started really fixing some of the things that they were um, not being able to fix on time. So you will see that the numbers look very similar. So you got the toys, it shows you the category as well, right? And it shows you who the seller is. Um, you got the brand, oh sorry, the brand is where this is your Amazon FBA sellers. The average price right here, you will see that in this category, there is one FBA seller, the rest are all Amazon. So that right off the bat tells me that Amazon is selling in this category. So maybe this is not the category I want to be in. I want like to be in a category that has more Amazon FBA sellers, which are like sellers like you and me. So price, you're looking at like the, uh, the top listing is about $24.99. We're just going to wait for these averages to load up. It does take a few seconds if you're running it after a few days. So don't worry about that. Amazon FBA fees. This is something that we did not have with Jungle Scout. It actually tells you what your Amazon FBA fee will be. So that includes your inventory and your pick and pack and shipping to the client. So right off the bat, you can kind of start making assumptions. Okay, if this product is selling for 25 bucks and $9 of that is going to go towards my Amazon FBA fees and another 10 into my product manufacturing and also shipping it to an Amazon FBA warehouse. So that right off the bat takes $18 out of your pocket. So you're really left with $7. So all of a sudden, this product allows you to actually look at it more analytically and really decide, okay, this product does not have enough margin for me to get into. So you see what I mean, guys, like why this is a more superior product. It even actually gives you the ASIN numbers for those products right off the bat. So that's why uh, Helium 10, I think, is a more superior product for you guys to look into now we're gonna talk about pricing after this okay so you'll see that it also gives you a little bit of sales graph analysis it gives you the revenue um, uh, that's basically the uh, monthly sales that this guy is doing this guy is doing guys like look at this like seven hundred and eighty seven thousand dollars he's doing in sales a month that's insane that is insane. You can never compete with that kind of seller right now because, of course, it's Amazon, right? Look at this, guys. The FBA seller is doing really well as well. It's selling 460, okay? Um, best seller ranking, BSR, is... Uh, let's take a look at the FBA seller. Sorry, I lost them for a second. Uh, it's this one, okay? So BSR is 55. His rating is 4.5, which is pretty good. He has 700 reviews, okay? So that's pretty good. And... Uh, review velocity 28 so that's good it's in the green that means he's getting good reviews see it even gives you the dimensions of the product like the weight and dimensions of the product that he's selling so all of a sudden it gives you like competitive information about your competitor already so you can actually make decision right then and there if you want to sell it or not Okay, and now the averages. So average, again, this uh, this category is very competitive because it's more broad, right? So you want to get into more, a little bit more, um, what do you call it? A little bit more niche uh, to really narrow down and find your customer base. So this one, the sellers have on average 1,200 plus reviews. The price is about $20, which I don't recommend. I always want to go close to $30 to accommodate for our shipping, manufacturing, FBA fees, and all that. So, um, and yeah, that's it. Like revenue is really great. Absolutely. Like the revenue is absolutely amazing with this product. But then again, we want to look at everything. Okay. Now, um, again, you can load more results to see like page two, three, and four. But this is what you get with this. 
and of course the ASIN number that I've shown you guys and there are some other neat tricks that you can do with this um, which I'm gonna go over uh, other videos you can actually take a look at the reviews of your competitors find out what words are used in their reviews and you can use that to your advantage so let's say people say this uh, this doll the hand always breaks or the quality of the plastic is not good and it will tell you what words are used how many times in the reviews so you can actually say okay people are having issues with the quality of this product let me change the pro material that it's made from maybe that will help me sell a lot more or beat my competition right so I'll really break into this market so that's it guys now that that's a chrome extension what I want to do is I want to tell you guys about pricing now pricing for jungle scouts so let me Although I have, by the way, guys, I have discounts for both products in the description below. Make sure to check it out, okay? Um, so uh, 15 and 20 percent, uh, 20 percent, I believe, is Jungle Scout, 15 percent for Helium 10. But let's go to Jungle Scout for a second, okay? Because I just want to show you guys something. Okay, guys, here are some pricings for you guys. It looks like they've changed over the months. So if you want to pay annually or uh, yearly, so you have the extension, accurate, um, so you can pay $19 per month or you can bill annually to 28 uh, I'm looking for the light extension that I actually have uh, I'm gonna try to find that for you guys to see what the price is because I know they came out with a lot of updates and so they may have changed their pricing model uh, to really accommodate the new things that they have incorporated now um, I still can't justify the amount uh, but and I'm gonna tell you guys why okay so Jungle Scout extension, so you can get the combination, you can get Jungle Scout itself or the extensions is $19 per month, okay? So there, there, was a, there is a light version that you can get for $97, but you can actually get the Helium 10 Chrome extension absolutely free. So let's go to uh, Helium 10 quickly. So that's the beauty about it. Not only is it a superior product in terms of what it does, but it also saves you guys money. Helium 10 Chrome extension is actually absolutely free. And of course, when you get the full version, right here, see that? So download our extension. So when you go there, Helium 10 Chrome extension, you search it, you can actually download this for free. And if you have an account, of course, it gives you to a lot more data, uh, uh, access to a lot more data, but the Chrome extension is absolutely free and it gives you all kinds of great information. So that's why I think Helium 10 is a lot more superior than Jungle Scout than I recommend you guys if you want the full version use the coupon codes that I've created for you guys um, you can get 15% discount on the annual membership but if you want the extension go for it it's for free guys it's it doesn't hurt like now I'm I know that as an Amazon seller as a newbie you always want to try to save money so you can invest that money into a, your actual inventory and all that right so if you can save money on your product research that's absolutely amazing so I would say just go to uh, helium 10 chrome extension click on the link and then you will download it for free that's it guys i hope you guys learned something valuable today about the two extensions and really learned which one is superior than the other and why and i basically clarified some of the questions that you guys may have had thanks again guys i really appreciate your viewership drop your questions in the comments below and uh, I would love to get in touch with you guys. If you have anything, any questions about any other specific topic, drop it in the comments below. No problem, guys. I would love to interact with you guys and answer any questions that you guys may have. Again, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.